hello student today we are going to perform one practical and the name of the practical is determination of strength or concentration of potassium permanganate solution using mohr salt solution so in this practical ultimately we will determine the unknown strength of potassium permanganate solution using known strength mohr salt solution and the strength is m by 20 so we perform this practical by tritation method. So, before going to the practical part, at first we will focus on the theoretical part. So, now you can see that here potassium permanganate is titrated to more salt. More salt is nothing, it is ferrous ammonium sulphate, it is a double salt, where iron is present in plus 2 oxidation state and it is titrated by potassium permanganate solution, where manganese is present in plus 7 oxidation state. So, see the equation, you can easily understand from the equation what is going on. Here the iron means ferrous state plus 2 state is oxidized by, oxidized by this potassium permanganate and it is oxidized to ferric state and permanganate ion itself reduced to plus 2 state. That means ultimately whatever the ion, ferrous ion present in the more salt, this is oxidized by this permanganate ion. This is the overall reaction. So, in this titration, what you can see? The ferrous ions are oxidized by permanganate ion and itself reduced to Mn2 plus ion. That is why it is also known as redox titration. In this practical, the required chemicals are more salt solution, it is one standard solution and the strength is M by 20, potassium permanganate solution and dilute sulfuric acid. Acid medium is required to perform this titration and the required glass apparatus are pipette, burette, measuring cylinder, volumetric flask, conical flask, beaker and funnel. Now uh, ultimately now you will go to the main part, this is the practical part, let us see. Student now come to the activity part, in this practical we will take potassium permanganate solution in this burette and we will take more salt in this conical flask. So, we will fill up this burette with potassium permanganate solution, but before filling at first we will rinse this burette. What to do? Let us see. At first I will take little K mono 4 solution in this burette. Yes. Now, roll it. Okay, and discard it. Now I will clamp this bullet with the bullet stand. Okay, and now I will fill up this bullet with potassium permanganate solution. Yes. So now I am filling this one. So, I will take potassium permanganate solution up to the initial reading. What is the initial reading? This is 0 mark. Yes. So, student you can see this is the 0 mark initial reading. Now, I will take more salt in this conical flask using this pipette. This is 20 ml pipette and here more salt is present. So, I will take it using this pipette. Similarly, before taking this more salt, transferring this more salt, at first I will rinse it. So, I took little amount of KMnO4 solution, roll it. and at last I discard it. Now I am taking more salt
So, student, I will take 20 ml. So, you can see one mark here. So, if I want to take 20 ml, I will adjust this point in this mark. So, this is a col colorless solution. So, obviously, lower meniscus I will consider for this case. Yes? I will stop here. Now, I am transferring the solution to this conical flask. In time of transferring, ensure that not a single drop should be present inside this pipette. Otherwise, you will get error result. Now, you add 20 ml dilute sulfuric acid using this measuring cylinder. So, dilute sulfuric acid is present here. So, I am adding 20 ml dilute sulfuric acid to this mode salt solution. Yes. So, now I am adding this dilute sulfuric acid to this mode salt solution. So, student in the conical flask mode salt solution how much 20 ml. I take it using this pipette. So, 20 ml mode salt solution and 20 ml dilute sulfuric acid is present and in this burette potassium permanganate solution is present. Now, I will start this practical titration. So, in time of titration using my right hand, I will hold this conical flask and using the left hand, I will control the knob of this bullet. Okay? So, using my right hand continuously, I will shake this solution to make it homogeneous. So, now I am adding this one drop by drop. At first, I will control the drop and I will add drop by drop from the bullet to this mode salt solution. Yes. So, what can you see solution to this more salt, then the color is vanishing. That means, what is going on? The Fe 2 plus ion is oxidized to Fe 3 plus ion and more salt. That means, where KMnO 4 is present, manganese is present in plus 7 state, it is reduced to plus 2 state. Yes, that is why the pink color is vanishing. So, now I am adding drop by drop and with Yes, I am continuous adding this one from this burette. The reaction is going on inside the conical. Ferrous ion is oxidized to ferric ion and potassium permanganate is reduced to Mn2 plus ion. That is why it has become colorless. Till now, the endpoint is not rich. I am adding this one. Yes, student, you can see already the color is changed. That means, when all the ferrous ion is oxidized to ferric ion, no more unreacted ferrous ion is present in the more salt. So, when all are converted to ferric ion that time, when if I again add one drop potassium permanganate, then the color is coming. So, this is the end point, the end point is pink in color and it is permanent. Now, let us see the final reading of this bullet. So, initial reading was 0. And what you can see? The final reading is 20.5. You can see it. The reading is 20.5. Now, now, 
now student come to the observation table whatever the data we get from this after the titration now we will put in this tabular form what is given here serial number means number of observation volume of mode salt solution means what we take using this pipette it is 20 ml so what we can write here so the volume of mode salt is 20 ml yes then pure reading that means potassium permanganate solution reading so initial reading what we choose it is zero we know it it is zero and the final reading is 20.5 so you can see here also pure reading initial and final so the initial value is zero and the final value is 20.5 ml that means the difference value means final minus initial this is 20.5 minus 0 the value will come 20.5 ml in the same way we will repeat this titration minimum 3 times means observation number 2 and observation number 3 the mode salt solution is same mode salt solution is same this is 20 ml and after performing we see that the other values are also coming very close to it that means it is also 20.5 and 20.5. That means their difference is also same 20.5, 20.5. So, obviously, we choose the concordant reading. You can see these values are almost same or very equal. That means now we will take the mean reading of this three data. The mean will come also, you can understand 20.5. So, this is the observation table. Now, come to the calculation part. So, what is our target? Determination of strength of potassium permanganate solution. So, how can you calculate this one? Now, see the equation. The strength of KMNFO solution in terms of molarity, we can determine by this formula A1 M1 V1 is equal to A2 M2 V2. What is M1? M1 is the molarity of mode salt solution. That means, it is m by 20, it is known to us. What is m 2? This is molarity of potassium permanganate solution, it is the unknown data. So, this is our target. What is V 1? V 1 is the volume of mode salt. That is, you know it is 20 ml, using this pipette we take it, it is 20 ml. What is V 2? Volume of potassium permanganate solution. That means, this is the mean data, what we get from the Bure reading. Okay. Now, we this is known to us m 1 value, v 1 value, v 2 value and m 2 is our target. What is a 1? a 1 is equal to 1. It means the number of electron lost by per formula unit of mode salt. You know for ferrous ion is oxidized to ferric ion. So, for how many electron it is lose? 1 electron. That is why a 1 is equal to 1. And potassium permanganate K mino 4. Here the oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 and it is reduced to what? Plus 2 state. That means it is gain 5 electron. That is why A2 value is equal to 5. The number of electron gain per formula unit of K mino 4 is equal to 5. So now A1 is equal to 1, A2 is equal to 5, M1 is equal to M by 20, V1 is equal to 20 and V 2 is equal to mean data, yes. So, if you put all this value, automatically you can get the unknown data, this is M 2. This is the strength of the potassium permanganate solution. So, now, if we put the value of A 1, M 1, V 1 as well as A 2 and V 2, then we will get the molarity of the potassium permanganate solution. So, now, putting this value, calculate the molarity of the potassium permanganate solution. Okay. So, now potassium permanganate solution. So, after getting the molarity of potassium permanganate solution, if we multiply this value with its molar mass, molar mass of potassium permanganate, this is 158 gram per mole. So, if we multiply with this one, then ultimately we will get strength of potassium permanganate solution. So, what is the target of our practical? Yes. So, obviously, in time of practical, 
before taking all the glass apparatus, you rinse it and when you take one color solution, you will consider the upper meniscus and when you will take the colorless solution, you will consider the lower meniscus. So, these are the precautions of this practical. I hope you understand from this 